First of all, perhaps I have to say that it, the market has been created 12 years ago. Uh, during the first years, we were calling it the Venice Film Festival, uh, Film Market, sorry. And then, eight years ago, we changed the name because we had also been focusing much more on production, uh, even if it was uh, idea from the beginning to uh, really focus on production. We wanted to also that production appear in the title of the market. So that's why we call it Venice Production Bridge. What I have to say is that in eight years it has, I would say, uh, tremendously uh, been expanding and so on. We have a lot of events now. As you know, we have the gap financing market. We have, in fact, we are proposing the whole chain of production for producers. <coughs> we have around between 900 and 1,000 producers who are coming from all over the world. And so they are coming here now uh, because they know that they can find either intellectual properties or ideas with the book adaptation rights market, co-production market with the Venice Gap financing market, working progress with Final Cut in Venice. They can meet the streamers now uh, for three years now and so they are now more and more uh, working with the streamers as co-producer. And then we have the, all the panels that we are organizing uh, both here on, at the Excelsior Hotel, as well as on our Venice Immersive Island, where we have our dedicated uh, market, uh, which is gathering all the immersive activities. To be a, a focus uh, at the VPB, the country has, if I could say so, to fit with all the different events I have be just been describing. Because when we are making a focus on a film, we are automatically <coughs> taking additional publishers for the book adaptation rights market, additional projects, both fiction or documentary and immersive for the gap financing, both additional working progress for Final Cut in Venice, and we are also asking from a local streamer to come in order to be uh, incorporated, if I could say so, in all the different uh, panels that we are doing uh, for this. And uh, uh, I would say in addition to all that, we are also organizing some special social event for them. So they are usually supporting either the VPB party or the Venice, the VPB cocktail uh, at the end of the festival. And we are organizing industry lunches for both of them. And so for us, Germany is present in all the different uh, categories that I have been uh, mentioning and Quebec also and especially in immersive, because they are very strong in immersive uh, content, as well as Germany. So that's why we have uh, decided to, to go there, to take them. It's, that's why we call it immersive, because we have VR, XR, AR, we are dealing about the metaverse, uh, and this year, as it's a uh, I would say a very actual uh, prob uh, problem or topic or whatever. We will speak about uh, artificial intelligence, of course. Uh, and so, no, it's a mix of everything. Uh, so we have uh, both within the 28 films which are in competition for the immersive selection in the official competition of the festival, as well as all the VPB and VGFM projects that we are uh, also uh, helping to find financing and so on for them uh, during the Venice Production Bridge. And a lot of dedicated panels uh, you will see on the, 
which are really tackling all the different kind of uh, topics related to immersive uh, the immersive worlds which is also video game now and so on as you know every year we have at least 40 to 50 percent of the project which are selected in the venice gap financing market which are coming from low production capacity countries so uh, so we have a lot of them uh, especially from the uh, also from the baltics from uh, eastern europe i think we have one from cyprus uh, malta not really but we have a lot we have a lot of them uh, and uh, we are always paying a lot of attention to this and we go also of course beyond just europe uh, so we are also welcoming indonesia this year philippines uh, well, india but india is a little bit more developed as far as cinema is concerned uh, who are coming here also to understand how it works and we are helping them to uh, create a real uh, cinematographic industry.